Welcome to Catch and Go. And so you know we're so excited to, to bring you part three of 2019, the year of the unthinkable. Tell somebody, get ready, sit around, and let's listen to the Lord's prophet to the nations and seer to the nations and talk and listen to him about 2019, the year of the unthinkable. I remind you that in my last catch and go, I said we will continue part three from Psalms 145, the greatness of God. Would you turn around, tell your husband, tell your children, tell your loved one, say, our God is a great God. Our God is more than enough because the greatness of God is being seen and everyone is watching the glory of God in his greatness manifest upon the earth. I did say to you that these last days in 2019, I said that we are also literally watching supernaturally the greatness of what? The greatness of the Holy Spirit. I did tell you that in my last telecast, catch and go, the Lord flashed to me, Joel 2, Joel 3, amen, the final loud pouring of the Holy Ghost, amen. Now I want to continue from verse number, number 14, but I gave you three steps, a threefold blessing, amen, and there are many, perhaps I can break down Psalms 145, but I talked to you about PowerPoint 1, Psalms 145, His glory. PowerPoint number 2, His kingdom. PowerPoint number 3, His power. PowerPoint number 1, I've already told you, amen. Do you know what the Lord just said? You know how the Holy Ghost is so much, he's infused. He, he's, he's been a, a, not only attracted, but there's an attraction right now that has caught the Holy Ghost's attention because he said to me, Habakkuk 2.14, for the earth shall be filled, what? With the knowledge and the glory of the Lord and the glory and the knowledge of the Lord throughout the earth. The glory of God and the greatness of God is manifesting everywhere around the world. I said also that in 219 going forward, God said there's a twofold thing that's happening. Separating, consecrating and separation of the sheep and goats. God just said to me that he's about to do wonders in your soul. Tell your husband, but don't forget to pop up the popcorn. Because if the popcorn pops up, poop, poop, the glory comes down. He brings revelation to me. I release the word to you. And you take Psalms 145. And then what? You shift your spirit. As I will tell you when we go from there into Psalms 146. But let's stay focused on Psalms 145. I told you that there are three PowerPoint. His glory, his kingdom. And what? His power. God is not only revealing his true sons and daughters in these last days going forward, amen, but the Lord is consecrating his people and restoring back the fullness of his power to the church. But it says in verse number 14, the Lord upholds all who fall and raises up who, who bow down. It is time for you. God is crying out. You know what the word says in Jeremiah 33, 3? Call to me. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. That's what it says in Psalms 145. His mighty acts from generation to generation. His everlasting kingdom. His everlasting glory. And the power of his glory demonstrated when he brought the people out of Egypt. Moses and Aaron and Miriam singing a song, a new song, a new melody, a new spiritual song that empowered them. And they rejoiced as he brought them out of the hands of the enemy. And I will tell you one more thing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just hold on a second because 
I want to tell you something. I just told you I didn't even have this on my notes. But David goes on to say, and the Lord reminded me. Would you tell somebody? The Lord reminded the seer and the prophet. David says in Psalms 110, it's not even in my notes. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord shall send the rod, your strength out of Zion, rule in the midst of your enemy. God, God is saying, amen, that he will destroy your enemy. But he uses the word there in Psalms 110, he uses the word footstool because heaven is his throne, earth is his footstool. You and I are ambassadors and bond servants of the Lord Most God, Most High God. And the Lord said to me, his word is unchanged, unhinged. You can't, you can't, listen to me, let me tell you something. Whatever God has spoken to your life in 2019, the year of unthinkable, repositioning in you, amen, and bringing you into a place that the Lord just said to me, he showed me the word thrust, and he said to me, a sickle in his, his hand. He's about to thrust forward his sickle, bring you out of the will of God, mold and shape you and consecrate you, amen, and bring you also out of the wine press so that once you are done and polished and consecrated, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, tell somebody, the Lord, almighty God, silence your enemy like David says, out of Zion, out of Zion, all right? Out of Zion, rule in the midst of your enemy. He rules in the midst of your challenge, in the midst of tribulations, in the midst of so major conflict, so much conflict in your life. God reminds me to tell you of 2 Corinthians chapter 8. It says, moreover, verse 1, brethren, we make known to you the grace of God bestowed on the church. In other words, hallelujah, the man of God is saying, I remind you of the bestowing everlasting, eternal endowment, glory, blessing, exceedingly blessings of a living God. And it says here in verse number two, that in great trials of affliction, and the Spirit of God just spoke to me concerning some of our friends in Singapore. I have to tell it because he told me to want to say it. Tell it like it is. Relatives, friends that are in the marketplace, that are business people for quite some time. He said, you got to get out of your own power and into the will and power of God's plan. Perhaps you have been trying to do things on your own. And God said these, I'm speaking to those people that are in the marketplace in Singapore. We know who they are. They're our friends. There's more than one. And he said, I want you to know that these are prophetic seasons. And the prophetic spiritual blessings of God on your life. And that his word will uphold. Meaning it shall not return void. Why? Because according to Psalms 145, verse 14, he upholds, the Lord upholds all, all of his children and all who bow down and all who cry out to the Lord and all that have been crying out to God, whether you're from America, whether you're from anywhere, any part of any nation, if you are a spirit born again believer in the marketplace, God is about to turn and bring a miracle to your life that supersedes every single thing that he's given you before. He said it is exceedingly fruitful and bountifully that you are about to reap. And I want to declare that to our loved ones around the world. And then he said in verse number 15, 
The eyes are all the eyes of all look expectantly to you, and you give them food in due season. All right, you open your hands and you satisfy the desires of every living thing. The Lord, remember that Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter eight. Remember, the talks here. Do you want me to turn to it? All right, I'll just go back there. We used to look, let's focus on the word desire. It says in verse number 10, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 10, 10, verse 10. And in this I give advice. It is to your advantage not only to be doing what you begin and what and were desiring and were desiring and what what? What's the word? Desiring to do a year ago. But now you must also complete the doing of it. So as there was a readiness to desire it, so there also may be completion out of what you have. But then verse number 12, I said, for if there is first a willing mind, the Spirit of God said to me to tell business people around the world, this is for business people. This can be also for believers. We're living in prophetic season. But he said to me, yes now, giant steps. All right, let's go to Psalms 146, just right over next. Let's tell somebody, we're just going right next over from 145 to 146. Let's look at Psalms 46, 146. It says in Psalms 146, all right, verse 1, Bless the Lord of my soul, while I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. All right. Verse number five, okay, says, Happy is he who has the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Verse number 12, all right. It says in verse number eight, I apologize, verse number eight, Psalms 146, the Lord opened the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises those who bow down. That's verse, that's verse number 14, Psalms 145. Let's look at Psalms 146. The Lord raises though those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the strangers. He release, release the fatherless and the widows. But the wicked, but the way of the wicked, he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, out of Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. You see in Psalms 146, the super miracle, supernatural miracle of God on believers' life. God's releasing the dimensions of his power on the church. Why would I say Psalms 146, supernatural dimensions? Well, very simple. Let's look at verse number 8. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord is going to bring a complete 360 to your life. And Psalm and 2 Corinthians, first, 2 Corinthians 8, verse number 10, it says, I give you this one advice. Whatever you started a year ago, continue. Whatever you desire in your heart, pursue it. Whatever you want and you want it, bring it to completion. The Bible says in Isaiah 55, you and I and all of us will go out in complete joy. The church and the perfect bride of God will be taken up in splendor, in glory, in perfect joy. God is a glorious God. He's about these a prophetic season, fulfillment prophetic season, and which God fulfills every prophecy and every rainbow word of God over your life. But you need to pursue it. God's glory is coming to your life. God is unlocking in 2019. And I've already begun since 208, the year of new beginning, biblical restoration. God is beginning to unlock the mystery of his kingdom. And the spirit of God said to me, he's no longer going to relent. 
And then he said afterward the word to be phantom. You need to understand phantom is the word understand. You need to have your spirit ready and readiness according to 2 Corinthians chapter. And understand the season, the time that we live in, living in and the Issachar mandate. And the final outpouring of the Holy Spirit from Joel 2 and 3. These are biblical times where God is pouring out his wrath upon the earth. Men are running, speaking on end times, but the greatest power and glory of God in the time where uh, you see the rise of persecution and Christians being persecuted and Bibles are being restricted and not allowed to come into countries or be brought into other countries. The Spirit of God said to me, Isaiah 59, 19, He will raise up a standard and move in power and in glory. I want to tell you this. One more thing. That we are also, the day will come when we will see the fulfillment of Revelation 10, 8. Revelation 10, 8 to 11. We will see the, uh, we will see the fulfillment of Revelation 10, verse 11. Prophetic fulfillment, okay? I want you to know those days are coming when the whole entire earth and world and nations will see the two witnesses of God. We are watching John 4, 23, 24. The time will come when people will worship me, my people, in spirit and truth. You will see that in Revelation 10, you see that in verse 8 to 11, you see that there is the word people, nations, tongues, and kings. Every single person will see the two witnesses. It's, I'm telling you that Psalms, this is the year 2019, is the year of Psalms 132. Why? Look at Psalm 132. It is 145. Psalms 145. Psalm 146. Psalms 132. The Spirit of God said to me, so many of you used to recite Psalm 191. You used to recite not only Psalm 91 and remember the whole verse and the whole Psalm 91. Now you can't even remember the first three lines. You need to run back to your first love. Listen. Listen to what God is saying. Listen to Acts 3.19. Peter said, repent and be converted so that your sins can be blotted out. These are refreshing moments to the backslider. Your children may have backslided. Your people have begun to backslide. But the spirit and the glory of the host and the glory of God of Israel says to you, Lo and behold, this is what the words he brought out of my spirit. He said, John the Baptist said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. You got to go back. The Lord said to me, Into covenant relationship with God. I have been speaking to my people concerning God covenant relationship you need to go back to covenant relationship with God and back to your first love and this is what the spirit of God said to me in the year 2019 the year of the unthinkable you need to seek and search while he can still be found you know what that means we well, you know what God is basically saying to you while you still got breath in you, you need to make things right. You need to make things right with God. And then after that, the Lord spoke to me about husbands. Husbands, you need to make things right with your wife. And God said to me, there are many leaders that need to be make things right with their leaders. And leaders in the church, you need to make things right with your, your pastor. And make things right with your God. He's unlocking the mysteries of his kingdom. But there's no longer any, any delay. The Lord will not relent. The Lord soon will open up the books. And we will all stand before him. And God is giving you a chance. So while you still exist and live. That you need to make things right with God. I close with this. 
Psalms 120, Psalms 132. But before I continue, I want to know, I want you to know something. What Psalms 37, Psalms 37, verse 11 says. Psalms 37, because I've been telling you the abundant, you're about to go into abundant living. Tell somebody, I'm about to walk into abundant living. I want you to know what the Lord's word says in Psalms 34, 37, Psalms 37, verse 11. Psalms 37, verse 11. But the meek, the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The humble will inherit those that humble themselves. Peter said, repent and be converted. I talked to you about grace giving and grace giving to you abundantly and breaking the power of lack in 2 Corinthians 8. You need to understand. I just finished telling you that the Lord says that while you still, while we, he still may be found. In other words, you need to seek and search and run to God and seek him with all your heart. I told you at the beginning of this telecast. Jeremiah 33, 3, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. The mighty acts of God has been going on and has been decreed and declared and has been confirmation. It's been seen all over this earth. Heaven and earth has seen it. And Psalms 40, 145, Psalms 146, Psalms 132 is a confirmation of the greatness of God. And I said the greatness of God is about to be poured out among the children of God and the true sons and daughters but the greatness of his Holy Spirit you need to get you need to speak you need to conversate with the Holy Ghost you need to talk to the Holy Spirit he wants you to come the Spirit of God said to me that he's been speaking to some intercessors I'm talking about woman right now he's been asking you and he said to me as well as the brothers and saints in the kingdom He's been saying there was a time when you wake up at exactly 3 in the morning, 3 a.m. in the morning, seeking God's face. You need to go back to waking up at 3 in the morning. The Holy Spirit will be waiting for you. Psalms 100, Psalms, <clears throat> I want to say Psalms 37 verse 11. Prophetic abundance and prophetic prosperity. Claim it in Jesus' name for your souls. And the Spirit of God said, receiving your prophetic inheritance. Remember when we started catching God? I said, I think the first telecast ever or the second or the third telecast catching God. I said that these are the days when you will experience and receive your inheritance. These are days when God, in this prophetic season, is releasing and bringing you to a place that you not only experience abundant living, but you receive all of your inheritance and the blessings of God, the humble and the meek. I want to close with this. The Lord said to me, when I begin to talk about the inheritance and the blessings of God, the Lord said to me, Psalms 115. I said that to you in my one of part one, part two. Remember, I said in part verse number 12, verse 13. I said verse Psalms 115, verse 13. It's good that it's time that I can say it was verse number 12. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great. Now listen to what the Lord just spoke to me. When I spoke to you from Psalms 37 verse 11. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because let me read it again to you. Let me read it again to you. Psalms 37 verse 11 says, But the meek shall inherit the earth, 
and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Not only you experience prophetically the peace of God, but remember I told you in one of my telecasts, God in 2018, 2017, God began to open up the gates. Prophetically, the gates have been opened and only the gates will be possessed by the righteous. The righteous will possess the gates of, of God, right? And then he talked to me, Isaiah 35, verse 10, the, uh, Isaiah 35, verse 8 to 10, a highway of holiness, and only the redeemed and the righteous shall walk on the highway of holiness. Remember that, Isaiah 35, verse 8 to 10. These are redeeming times. These are replenishing. These are times of restoration. These are times when your spirit, your soul, your mind, your loved ones, your children, your business. Remember breakfast at the sea? This is time when you're going to flourish. The glory of God took me to Psalms 115 again. And he said to me, from this verse, he said, verse 14, may the Lord give you increase more and more, you and your children. I want to tell you something. I want to say something to you. The Lord did not allow me to go away from Psalms 115 because I'm going to tell you why. Not only are you about to receive your inheritance, but your children's children. That's what he took me to Psalms 115, verse 14. But then as I was going to move on to another chapter or move somewhere else, he said this to me to tell you. Verse number 17. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor any who go down into the silence. But we will praise the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. If you've been silenced for so long and you've been weak for so long and you have suffered for so long in these times of great trials and affliction and what 2 Corinthians chapter 8 says, but they kept their focus and they kept their focus first on God and then on the body of Christ and the believers. You must run back to the presence of God. And why does he bring me to verse number, verse number 17? Remember he said a few minutes ago, he told me, he says, tell them that while he still may be found, you need to seek and search and run back to God. Because Psalms 115 verse 17, it says, it is not the dead who praise God, not those who go down into the pit in our side. When you when you're gone, there's no more, there's no more breath on you. There's no more. You're gone. But the Spirit of God closes part three with this. He's reaching out to you, as Peter reached out from Acts chapter three verse nineteen. From 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 to 14. They were experiencing so much suffering. They were suffering, lacking poverty. It says the word poverty and lack. And God broke the power of poverty and lack and stag stagnation. The glory of God wants you to know that he's also taught from Jeremiah 33, 3. This is what I heard the Lord said just now. Are you ready? Join hands with your husband. Join hands with your children, the whole family together. Join hands, you cell group leaders with your, with your group that you've been blessed to be, uh, been given the opportunity to be a leader uh, on your cell group. Join all hands. And understand that while you are still, while you still have breath, you need to run back to God. That while they were suffering, God challenged some of you in the marketplace. Some of you, God challenged and say to believe in yourself. And I close. With this, the Lord said, Behold, 
I am coming to do new things in you. You ought to receive it. These are new seasons. These are new times. These are refreshing in season. Would you subscribe to our YouTube channel? Once again, have a blessed holiday. Be safe in your travels. And may the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for listening to Catch and Go. And as the new year comes out, and as old, this year goes out and the new year comes in, God is about to do the impossible in your life. Lord bless you.